Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video. Today I have an incredible vehicle with me. This is the new BMW 2 Series Active Tourer 218D. And in this video, I will make the full review interior, exterior. As always, at the end of this video, you will find out everything about this new active tourer now guys before we go forward i want to give you some technical data and some information if you are in switzerland or around switzerland check out auto fake here in bern i will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car test drive the car or see the car check them out guys link is in the description now before we go forward i want to tell you that i have the diesel version right here is the 218d active tourer and the starting price of the car it's 45,500 francs here in Switzerland with the extra optional added right here that I will explain you also in the video. The price will go up to 59,370 francs, but here at Autofaker, you will have a nice discount, 5,870 francs discount. So the final price will be 53,000 500 francs i will add the price in dollars so you can make an idea probably in other country the price may be different cheaper or more expensive depending which country you are now the car that i have with me right here it has also some extras because the car comes standard with 16 inch rims they add also optional the 17 inch rims and if you want that you have to pay extra 700 francs also it comes with leather bernasca optional 2850 francs you can see right here also it has the comfort pro package 1200 francs it has the hook for the trailer 1260 francs also the driving assistant professional 2410 francs then you have also the innovation package 4590 francs you have also the bigger tank so you have to pay extra 60 francs if you want to have a bigger diesel tank and also if you want to have an interior camera you will have to pay 150 francs yeah quite interesting also all these options i will show you in the video as we go forward another very important information are that the car weight 1763 kilograms the consumption estimated consumption 4.9 liters pretty good consumption for a family car co2 emission 129 grams and it's in a efficient class incredible a diesel car now let me give you a little bit more deeper details about the car guys so as i said the car come with a two liter diesel engine common rail four cylinders in line 150 horsepower 360 newton meter it's a front wheel drive system and it's connected with a seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission from what i know active tourer will come only with this automatic transmission seven speed dual clutch standard the fuel tank capacity it's 45 liter but with this extra optional probably will go to 50 55 liters i'm not sure about that i have to check also the top speed of the car 220 km per hour 0 to 108.8 seconds the ground clearance of the car 17.1 centimeter the car come with ventilated brake this on the front brake this on the rear standard come with 16 inch rims but here we have optional the 17 inch rims that make the car look a little bit better but i think even a little bit bigger rims will make the car super nicer 18 inch rims i think in my opinion will be much much nicer for the car also the turning radius 11.4 meters the trunk capacity 470 liters and if you fall down the seats completely you will have 1455 liters the car come also in the front with independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar on the rear it comes with multi-link coil spring and anti-roll bar those are the most important information about the car guys now let's start the review interior exterior and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys let's start with the key first of all this is the key this is the new key super nice super light key i like it very much what you can do with the key you can lock the car from here from bmw logo you can unlock the car from here or you can open the trunk also uh, if you press this button here for a few seconds you can open the trunk automatically it comes with an automatic lift gate on the trunk also if you want to close the trunk you have to hold it a few seconds until the trunk will completely close yeah so this is what you can do with the key also if i'm not wrong when you lock the car and open it up 
the car have also a nice you can see at the lights they open up a little bit nicer than normal when they are closer they are dimming off and also in the front let's go in the front let me show you that guys when you turn on the car let me show you when you open the car you can see it has a nice play on the light when you close them the same story really really nice let me show you again all the new bmw that comes today on the market they come with this little nice play on the light quite interesting it looks really really nice now guys i just turned on the engine and also turn on the lights but first of all let's talk a little bit about the exterior design in my opinion it's a big improvement from the previous version it looks much more modern much nicer and i think bmw want to bring this design to a new level of simplicity and modernity anyway bmw was always one of the best manufacturer when it comes to design exterior design i mean they were really really good almost all the bmw look really nice now i think they bring a little bit of that new ages electric car that we see on ix or i4 or all the new bmw have a nice nice design added to it and we can see even in the front here if you look at the grill if you look at the bumper it's relatively simple they they didn't complicate it with a lot of sharp edges and angles and stuff like this like uh, how would they do and they try to make it as simple as possible like the electric cars are today so uh, we will talk that details in a second but overall a beautiful beautiful design much nicer than the previous version this is a black car you cannot see so well the design on the black cars the white car will show off a little bit more the angles and the lines but overall i see the car also on the gray and it's super super beautiful i like very much the exterior design a radio antenna it's very different it's something unique that you don't see on many cars it's something that you can see only here on BMWs it's very nice going down here to the roof spoiler also everything it's in black even here on the side we have this black glossy plastic very nice roof spoiler I think it looks sporty it fits very nice with the car also here we have the brake light LED light uh, and then on the rear we don't have tinted windows but I think the car will look very nice with tinted windows as well you have a wiper and defrosted window on the rear overall this is the back part now if we go on the side you can see that here around the edges of the windows on this model we have rubber everywhere here it looks good it looks very good quality as you touch it as you look from closer also on other models uh, the same active tour but other models you can get it also with glossy black plastic around here so that's the new trend but overall it looks good like this as well now going to the mirrors on the mirrors we have relatively huge mirrors they are big like on the SUVs you have blind spot technology in the corner here I think you can see it but relatively big they have a nice design you have the turning signals LED light here I like those lines here they make the car much more sportier but overall they are nice down here you have a camera because the car comes with 360 degrees camera i will show you when we go inside and here you have an led light that illuminates the floor in the nighttime uh, it looks really really beautiful you can see on the floor a nice logo with bmw up here on the windscreen i like the fact that the windscreen is relatively big and the a pillar it's quite steep i should say and it looks nicer i like it now guys here in the middle on the windshield you can see all this new technology uh, there are two cameras there uh, for lane assist reading the traffic speed limit also the sensor for light and raining are there that they work together with the radar in the front uh, and if the radar if I'm not wrong it's exactly here in this area behind this uh, area here is the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety feature uh, from BMW that the car come with the hood also aggressive nice line it looks really good the front end of the car really aggressive I like this kidney grill the way BMW call it uh, I like that it's big it bring this new signature from BMW I like it and I like also those lines here 
quite aggressive also on the other side the same story bmw logo in the middle if we go down here we have this kidney grill also in chrome on the side you have radar you have the front camera as i said 360 degrees camera the camera it's uh, position it here in the middle then you have this grill glossy plastic and if you look inside there you have some pedals huge pedals that are closed right now because it's cold outside but when it's hot they will open they will allow even more air to go inside to cool down the engine down here the same story but here they are open you can see there the radiator and you can see those clappers are open and sometimes they are closed when the the engine need to be much warmer for example when you have outside minus five degrees very smart system that bmw have it as well on the cars other than that very nice very simple design here in the front we have some air intakes you can see this element here and we have some air intakes here where the air will go inside here and then go outside around the wheels that help the aerodynamic of the car uh, the consumption and it looks also nice on the car looks relatively good guys i don't know about you but i like that now we have six sensors you can see the first one is here second one here six sensors in the front third one uh, for parking and sensors for the blind spot technology and all that safety features that the car come with overall it's pretty nice handles are one of my favorite part that bmw bring it in the last time on the cars. I like the fact that they integrate it inside the door. That means better aerodynamic, better consumption, and also it's a little bit more cleaner design. Other than that, very simple to open and close. Also, you have this area here where you can put your finger to lock the car and to unlock it, the same story. The door's quality, you can hear it. Not bad, but I can I hear better not bad but not worse I should say somewhere in the middle I don't think you will have a problem with the with the doors on the BMW but yeah in terms of sound um, they can sound even better or well, the down part of the car I like very much the fact that they add this separate part this part here from here down it's a plastic part that means if you scratch this area down here uh, in this area you can change it very very easy you don't have to repaint all the car and that's a practical thing then they add also some plastic here in this area to protect this uh, panel from uh, stones and a lot of rust in time so yeah it's relatively good here the lights look wonderful like almost always the lights on the BMW was, was one of my favorite part. And you can see they add this honey cap on the side. We have BMW there, logo. They are lovely. And they somehow keep the signature from other models like the same. Everything, it's LED light. So you can see from here, even the fog lamp, it's LED turning signal. Simple, nice, clean design. And it integrates very well with the car in my opinion bmw logo reverse light here and led lights also uh, on the number plate again another cool feature down here on the bumper guys look how simple is the bumper nowadays everybody tried to make the car look much more like an electric car like simple uh, even though it's a diesel you don't have any exhaust pipe there uh, visible it's hiding and um, they try to make it simple all the elements on the car is this beautiful chrome here a matte chrome some light reflectors uh, and then we have six sensors but other than that very clean design nothing crazy nothing fancy then you have here 280d so you know which car you are driving on the right side on the passenger side you have also the diesel tank and add blue where you can add it uh, super simple in terms of lights we have the bmw led almost the latest is light is not the latest is because it's the laser led light but it looks wonderful and in the nighttime it's it's really helped a lot to have a great visibility and also if you look closer there it has a beautiful beautiful design everything led so don't expect to have any halogen light on the on this model so you can see also from the front end uh, the way it looks so as i said before the car comes with 17 inch rims standard it comes with 16 but those are optional rims they are simple i think if you get some 18 uh, or a little bit bigger the car will look even better but 
Uh, I think they are great for comfort, for winter, for example, because you have a lot of rubber, so they help this uh, a lot. Then you have ventilated brake discs on the front. On the rear, only brake discs, simple brake discs. Uh, and you can see also the brake caliper there. And if I go a little bit backward, you can see one more time the car, the way it looks with those 17 inch rims. I think if you put a bigger one, uh, the car will look even better. So overall, this is the exterior design of the car. Now, guys, I think I show you everything. Let's go inside. Let me turn off the lights from here and from here and also the engine start engine button is here the interior it's incredible so stay with me guys it's incredible the interior i was like whoa i can't believe this is active tour uh the interior it's, it's wonderful now let me open this by the way this is also automatic look at it simple to open uh, like a premium car like a proper premium car here is the engine two liter diesel engine four cylinders in line common rail 150 horsepower more than enough for powering this car the wiper fluid then here you have the air filter and the battery is there anyway quite nice if you want to close it as i said before automatic lift gate very simple to open this just like that now here you have the buttons to close and to lock when you close it the trunk here you have some handles to close it manually the triangle it's up here we have also this protection for the trunk i will take it out in a second so to show you uh, the way it looks but overall a very big entrance here in the trunk very big so you can fit in here a lot of stuff without any problem then you have down here some plastic at the entrance you have a flat floor this is again a good thing in the left side some mat some elastics and some space there where you can put your things here another space led light i like that 12 volt port right here very useful and then you have this button probably you wonder what it is if you press this button and then the car come with a hook and it's automatic it's completely automatic guys how cool is that? You don't have to dirty your hand. Press that button. Wait 10 seconds. And it's work even faster than the Range Rover or much more premium car, much more expensive car. So great job, BMW. I like that. Very, very, a lot of improvement from the previous versions, guys. Really, really a lot of improvement. And I like that very much. Now, under the floor. I know you want to find out what is under the floor. Usually, if you will get the plug-in hybrid, you will have only this space until here it will be like that but because this is a diesel and also with petrol uh, pure petrol engines you will have the full completely space here and it's quite quite big it's not a spare tire here but you have a lot of space to put your things here without any problem also you have some hooks uh, on the side here the quality here on the side is relatively good let me take out this protection and then I will fold down the seat to show you the way it looks without it. All right, I just take out that protection. You can take a look one more time the way the entrance is here. It's quite big, as I said before, a lot of space. I find it very practical for a family. Uh, you can fit in here a lot of stuff. Now, if you want to fold down the seat, you cannot do it from upper here. That's something that I find it like a downside. If you want to fold it down, you have to come here on the back and then you have to pull this. Now, if you pull this down, also don't forget that you have some position, I will show you later. You can fold it completely down. And then in the middle, let, let me show you again. Let me show you, let me put it back. If you pull it all the way and push it, you, you can adjust it also. Not only uh, you can fold it down, but you can leave it straight. You can leave it a little bit backward. Or you can leave it all the way backwards. And this is also a good thing. The middle part, if you want to fold it down, you have to pull this and you need two hands. Let me do that, just like that. And here you have also some position to choose. Uh, and now you can carry long items like skis or whatever you want to carry. And you can see even if I go in the back here, uh, you can carry, you can have two passengers and in the same time carry your skis or baggage or whatever you have long items there. Now. You want to fold completely down you have to go here you have to pull this like that and now it's down and then you have to go the same story on this side and pull it so you need a little bit more time it's not a big deal but it's something to to keep in mind now 
let me show you how it looks huge entrance practicality it's here i have to tell you i don't know if you can manage to see that very well on the camera but i have to tell you it's a lot of space here and you can fit in here a lot of things it's almost a completely flat floor so if you look here it's almost a flat floor it's it's perfect it's perfect you can put in here a lot of things now let me go on the side from here also what i notice is that the door almost open almost 90 degrees so it's a big big entrance big opening so you can go here without any problem you can see the space lovely space a lot a lot of space here really really a lot of space to put your things also on the legs room it left some space there even though you have that transmission tunnel in the middle so overall a very good space um, in my opinion anyway let me put everything back and then we will go inside the car to see how much space we have there here you have a window from one piece and also here you have another window on the a door so we will see the visibility as you go inside on the upper side here the design of the door it's beautiful anyway for for me from my point of view it's super premium it's super nice the way it looks on the upper side here we have kind of a soft material i don't know how can i explain you it's not very very soft but it's not plastic it's kind of a, a very very tiny rubber it's quite nice uh, then going forward we have Harman Kardon speakers and you can see this new design of the speaker look lovely the handle it's new and it looks wonderful uh, it's in plastic but it looks really really good here we have leather it looks wonderful you can see the stitches here you have leather and soft uh, where the arm is resting here is the button for the windows then down here you have another speaker and quite nice integrated in somehow i cannot explain you some kind of a stove material but i'm not sure if this is a speaker i'm not sure about that i think it is yes it is a speaker here it's a speaker and very nice integrated here i can't believe how they integrated with this stove material really really interesting the way they did it down here we have plastic almost everywhere it's plastic and we have some storage space very useful storage space and and kind of much so you can put here a lot of things now going inside as i said before big entrance no problem in terms of entrance now here we have the seat and you can see you can adjust it the way you want it you can leave it like this if you want to have more space in the back there for uh, different things and you can see the difference between them this is maximum on the back and this is uh, the first level so it's a lot of difference between them if you want to put it backwards pull it and push it and then this is the second level and then you have another one this is all the way on the back right now in this moment uh, those seats from down here you cannot uh, adjust it if i'm not wrong yes or no they are fixed here you cannot adjust the seat uh, exactly but i like the fact that the quality of the seats is just incredible look at them guys look at the space here in the back leather vernasca leather high high quality uh, side support you have also down here side support they are lovely the way they look also you can install two child seats here and the fact that they make it flat in the middle here they didn't make any side support it allow three persons to stay here in the back without any problem so it's flat like a sofa quality is very very good behind the front seats you have some plastic to protect the seats you have some storage space here in the middle you have the transmission tunnel kind of big like 15 centimeters a little bit of space down there and here you have two usb usb c ports that's very good and we have some vents here very good quality on those vents going inside it's very very easy big entrance let me close the door all right you hear the door doesn't have the best sound but once it's closed the sound insulation inside the car it's very good i sit inside the car before and i know they did a great job you cannot hear so many noise from outside that's that's a good thing now i'm 173 centimeters and you can see the space over my head it's more than enough you can see like five six fingers the visibility outside it's very good i have a good visibility here i have also this window here in the back uh, that it's also defrosted so it's great visibility i have a hook and a handle up here also 
the quality on the roof it's it's super super nice i like this white roof and also the quality it's very good the legs room guys you can see right here it's huge i mean in terms of legs room it's perfect i can stretch also my legs under the front seats without any problem there so overall very very good space also you can see in the front the seats position this is my driver uh, seat adjusted for me and this is i think a little bit it's kind of the same I think it's the same, same position. Very good. And also uh, the leathers are a little bit stiffer. It's not super soft, it's stiffer. That means it, it should last longer, uh, but it's relatively comfortable here. And if I go a little bit forward, the headrest is nice. It's a little bit softer, the headrest, and we can stay here for long trips without any problem. Up here on the roof, you have this fancy touchscreen, touchscreen, I should say touch button, LED with touch button that look fancy. In the middle, I like the fact that you have a flat here seat so I can go very easy in the middle, very, very easy. And once I'm here, you can see the space, the space here, relatively good. Um, and head space, it's even better than on the side, to be honest, even better than on the right side. And also I see to be honest with you, I sit really good here. I can't believe that they manage to, to keep this armrest here cup holders with armrest you can see right here two cup holders and i don't know how they manage to make it also comfortable for the person in the middle so it's also comfortable down here it's very similar with on the side so they didn't make any difference like we see in other cars they make difference between the car the seats on the side and in the middle but this time in the middle i feel really good so good job bmw by the way stretch my hand completely here and then this one almost completely. So the space is good also for free person, free adults here. Uh, I think they can drive even long trips without any problem. So again, a very surprisingly thing. Now, everything is nice, design is nice, design wise, Finally, BMW changed those old style vents and they, they come with some new beautiful vents. I love that, very good. Also, we will go in the front and you can see that in the front, finally, BMW changed the uh, dashboard, changed the, that old multimedia system, changed that old vent. Everything is new and phenomenal. I love, I have to say, I'm in love with what BMW did with these new cars that come now on the market. They are incredible. I mean, the multimedia, the steering wheel, the dashboard, you will see the vents. They are fantastic. Let's go in the front. Let me show you guys. All right, let's go in the front here. So here we have two pieces of glass. So we have a big window here and then we have another fixed one right here. We will talk about that as we go inside about the visibility. And also I will talk in the test drive video. Uh, if you didn't see it yet, check out on my channel um, the test drive video with the same car there. I talk about visibility. Now here on the door, it's a little bit different. You can see right here the door design is it's similar but the quality is different for example up here we have leather so everywhere on the upper side you have leather you have these white stitches lovely then you have the handles in chrome you have lock and unlock button you have this harman kardon speakers again beautiful speakers two position to save your seat because you have the electric adjustable seats you can save the seats here leather again here in this area leather here soft and high quality materials there you have the lock buttons the, the buttons for the windows the controllers for the mirror so you can fold the mirrors from this button and also you can adjust the mirrors electrically from here without any problem then you have another button here to open the trunk automatically here you have the the speaker guys and the speakers it's speaker is behind some kind of stuff material it's really interesting how they somehow hide it uh, behind it. I don't know how to explain you the, the feeling. It's like a stove material and inside there is the speaker. Really cool, really interesting. Anyway, going forward here on the downside, plastic, but it's great that you have a lot of storage space in the door bands, quite, quite big. Now let's go forward. Here we are, big entrance. You can see the seats, Vernasca leather, beautiful new design seats on BMW finally we, we see something new 
in terms of design and I like them. I love them. I love the way they look. Uh, you can see closer also those triangles design the way you sit on them they are super super comfortable even down here they are a little bit stiffer but very comfortable you can adjust the front part just like that and also you have some side support in the front here you have the adjustment electric adjustment down here you can adjust it electrically the way you want it very simple and also the lumbar part super super simple and the pedals we have normal pedals as you can see right there no aluminum pedals or something like that uh, there are just normal normal pedals but they are super smooth and nice going a little bit upper here guys we have those buttons where you can change different uh, settings actually let me show you guys let me put the contact for a second and here you have the fog lamps so from here you activate the fog lamps you can see also there on the screen from here you choose how you like the lights to be so we don't have any wheels any crazy a lot of buttons or stuff like that we have three buttons but th those three buttons do everything i mean you press this auto and you choose how you like to have the lights so from here you press many times uh, and every time you press it it's change a different mode and from here you press it once it's kind of a shortcut button for all the light settings so once you press it you go here and you have the lights and additional settings I will show you a little bit later anyway another thing that I like very much is this area here of the dash this area you can see it where is also the vent look incredible nice and if I go zoom in on it you can see those stream it's like little little holes I don't know what is the material but it looks so nice the vents are also different and very nice as you touch it very very good quality I love the vents I didn't expect to find such a good quality on a, an active tour to be honest on the dashboard everywhere you have leather look at the stitches look at the high quality everywhere it's leather guys here you have also vents very nice very intelligent they put this vent here because this air when the air will come let me go inside the car when the air let me close again when the air will, will come out from here it will come directly on the on the window and then it will defrost the window even faster and this is very smart thing that they do now guys visibility you have big windows visibility is very good and you can see from the driver point of view here is the a pillar it's split in two and i will talk about that in the test drive video if this will bother you or not uh, as we go on the road but you can see for yourself the visibility around the windows it's quite fine i should say but it's relatively good no complaining here anyway you can see one more time the seats in the back there also here in the middle you have this wonderful center console i mean the center console it's it's incredible nice it's super modern and bmw doesn't cheap out to put on this active tour something cheap and old uh, fashion they they come all in with this new technology that they bring also in on, on the electric cars down here you have some storage huge storage you can see i have even the keys here huge huge storage uh, under this center armrest i should say and this is in the air somehow it's really in, in, interesting the way they make it here and also you have a leg here that make it stable and i think all the cables are through that leg here you have an armrest very fancy very modern i love it you have also this this is the button you press it and you open this armrest you have also some storage space here for your phone wherever you want to put very smart i love this this is so modern so futuristic then guys this is the controllers here on the controllers we have electronic handbrake uh, we have auto hold the car come also with auto hold function here you have the possibility to change the stations radio stations or uh, sound here is the wheel for the volume here we have the turning signals button this button here it's for the cameras so when you press this uh, you will see also on the screen it will appear the cameras because we have 360 degrees camera on this model uh, the camera resolution it's very good it's incredible I tell you the camera it's wonderful and here you can see all those cameras what it's around the car from every angle look at this front and also back and side and if that's not all let me show you something the assistant the panoramic view and then you have more here on when you go to more you have the trailer 
view, go to more, you have the car wash view, then you have the 3D view. Look at this. How cool is that, guys? This is the free 160 degrees from BMW that shows you what it's around the car in this moment. It's, it's one of the best system and BMW use it for a long time now on the cars. Also the car come with active lines. Here you have the start engine button right here in this area. Let me press the brake. Let me start the engine actually. The engine is also what I noticed, even though it's a diesel engine, it's very silent and you cannot hear and feel so many vibration inside here and this is a good thing. Shift by wire transmission finally on BMW and it looks beautiful. Look how small it is, look how nice it is. From here you go in drive, you go in reverse. So for example, if you press the brake, go up, you go in reverse, you can see right here. Going in reverse, you can see the active lines. Uh, right there and you can see the reverse camera if you go down you go in drive drive and then you see this L if you go one more time it goes in L it says L1 and drive what it's L let me explain this is parking uh, brake and if you want to go to parking um, immediately it go to parking so for example you don't have a park button or stuff like that immediately when you press this button it goes directly in the park mode so that's something to keep in mind guys now you probably wonder what is this L mode L mode it's low gear it calls and it, it's kind of a downhill assist or uphill assist it will lock the gears in a second or first or third gear I don't know if it work with third but it locked the gear so it allow you the possibility to go downhill with a brake engine or uphill to to block the revs and stuff like that i will explain you that in a separate video uh, i will make a video about that because not many people knows what is that now guys going forward here we have my modes on my modes it's very simple also you can see how tactile and how nice are those buttons. If you go to mine mode here, you will see on the screen, it will show you different driving modes. The same as on the electric versions, you have the personal here that it's activated in this moment. On the personal, you can customize the way you want it. You have the sport mode, and every time you change the driving mode, even the cockpit, it will change there. So this is the sport mode. You go here to switch. Efficient mode, you can see it's changing also the, the cockpit and then you have the personal mode we will leave it on efficient mode and then my mode design here and then if you go to settings let me show you you can change also the different driving modes anyway uh, at least the the personal mode i will show you a little bit later but that's something to keep in mind that you can change them from here and depending which driving mode you are even the car will react uh, accordingly down here you have another button when you press this button it will let me show you it will get you to the uh, driver assistance systems and here you can press it and you can change different driving modes and information and safety features it's a kind of a shortcut to all those important uh, settings right here so for example you have the safety and warning you have collision front collision warning lane departure warning lane changing warning here where you can choose uh, expand reduce and it has all that safety features like steering intervention warning when turning uh, side collision warning even though it comes with so many so many features and safety features side collision warning doesn't have any uh, many cars on the market these days uh, giveaway uh, warning exit warning look at this how many really really interesting and when you want to change it just go here and then early late you choose how you want to have it great then you have the parking settings where you have all the sound and you have all the brake intervention at rear when it sees something uh, behind there show space and stuff like that because it comes with this uh, active uh, parking assist then you have automatic signal here then you have also the drive off monitoring parking guidelines ob obstacle markings and all that things from uh, BMW then on the driving side you have the speed limit access distance control here for adaptive cruise control you can choose the distance then you have the route and junction assist and you have assistant driving so there are so many settings here it's incredible how many things you have uh, the car come with then you have the feedbacks uh, in the steering wheel if you want to feel some vibration or lightning elements and then you have the trailer mode where you can choose 
um, different settings here. Anyway, you can lock the speed, for example. Then you have this drivetrain and chassis where you have auto start, stop, activate, deactivate. You have it here. You don't have a physical button anymore. Drive off support. And then you have the parking brake. So you can, you can choose that the car uh, activate automatic the parking brake. Anyway, really, really interesting. This is uh, the shortcut for those uh, settings, guys. And I think I show you almost everything here. If you go down a little bit, you can see like right there you have two USB-C ports. So very useful and also a 12 volt port on the other side. Two cup holders here and another cool things that I want to show you. We have two cup holders and this space here probably, what is this space? You can put your phone right here guys and just poof, lock it in place with that plastic and then you charge the phone and behind the phone the great part is that you have uh, some kind of vents here so the the phone doesn't get a warmer and stuff like that other than that glossy plastic around here some plastic down there but beautiful it looks really really beautiful what I noticed before it's when I get inside the car and I open my phone guys I noticed that the Bluetooth even recognize this BMW and ask me if I want to connect with BMW I will show you also a little bit later uh, really interesting beautiful design here on the dash I love this I love this trim look at this look at closer this trim it's so beautiful really beautiful beautiful it's also the way they integrate these vents here it's one vent it's it's super super nice super good quality as you touch it then here on the side you have the a physical button for climatic system if you want to turn on the defrosting button are here very nice integrated very simplicity the choice to make it much more simple and nicer the visibility from the driver point of view it's gorgeous I mean it's really really good you can reach out here very easy to these buttons it's just uh, where your hand is resting and also here it's very easy to reach out again two vents here man the, the quality when you touch them it's phenomenal it's so smooth you have to touch this it's very smooth very high quality leather everywhere here on the dash down there in the front you have a speaker again and some vents they look also lovely again here the same same nice trim and down here you have a glow box that comes out very smoothly and nice. So you can see everywhere the high quality, even this is going so, so slowly down. A lot of space there, you have a light, quite big space here in the glow box to be honest, really, really big. And it feels quite, quite good quality. I like it. I really, really like that. And I like the fact that they put this vent here. This is very useful these days. It's much faster to defrost the windows. Here in the front, you have a head-up display. You probably wonder why they put the head-up display on that ugly plastic dark, somehow distract you. Uh, you will be surprised. The fact that they somehow make the car, the A-pillar, a little bit more, not so steeper. Uh, they make it look a little bit more sportier, I guess. And the fact that the the glass is not so straight they cannot project the head-up display directly on the screen and they choose to add it on this um, head-up display and yeah to be honest I don't know if you need it the great part is that inside there the resolution is very good it looks really good the things there and you can see it very clear from here but in my opinion I don't know if you still need it after you have this amazing cockpit this cockpit is amazing you have all the information here I don't know if you still need to get this as option or not. I don't know. Anyway, you can also deactivate it and put it down. So this is just an information. Now, if I go down a little bit, here we have a steering wheel and you have a manual steering wheel. The steering wheel is very similar with what you have somehow the feeling, the design and the way they design those things here is very similar with what uh, BMW bring with the new cars and it's incredible I can't believe I'm inside an active tour when I see this cockpit and this technology here and this quality um, you can adjust it anyway forward backward the way you want it very simple then the quality it's incredible soft it's nice it's that signature from BMW very good grip 
very very nice steering wheel i really really like it i like the design i like the lines i like the way they make it also this chrome here with these holes it looks super super nice and also the quality you can feel it immediately when you touch it it's a little bit thicker when you when you hold it it's super here you have also the lights controllers and on the other side you have the wipers uh, stalk here you have the buttons guys for the cruise control you can set it very simple you press the button up down set different modes from here you can see you have the limit mode I don't know you can see it if I zoom in a little bit you can see you have the speed limiter mode then you have the cruise control mode and then the cruise control uh, autopilot but you have to drive it I will show you that as we go in the test drive video so check out the test drive video guys here on the right side you have the controllers to customize the screen I'll show you in a second it's very simple the voice command also and also the telephone and the music here um, that gets you directly there let me show you the cockpit the cockpit and the screen the way they integrate it here it's super beautiful it's a completely screen it's a glossy screen it's beautiful this space here uh, doesn't do anything but it's somehow integrated together uh, it's a lovely lovely screen I like it very very much on the cockpit you have all the information there very good resolution and uh, the lighting it's awesome if you worry about that replace battery warning error that you see here don't worry too much the car is brand new and they have to set up something uh, inside the software uh, it's everything fine with the car many cars come with some errors in the beginning and uh, then they put it in service uh, before they sell it and stuff like that anyway doesn't matter so don't worry about that anyway here you can customize the front screen the way you want it it's the best cockpit ever made by bmw this new cockpit it's incredible you can choose from here also on the head of display you can adjust the head of display from here uh, you can choose what you like to see on the head of display if i go a little bit higher you can see also from here when you change different views so you can see the navigation even there in the front let me zoom in yes like that you can see the navigation you can see the lane assist and assistance systems and you can somehow customize that head up display the way you want it it's it's very fancy too bad it's not on the on the windshield now if you go down you can see that you have also content on your screen all right also head up display again let me show you let me go back content yes head up display and here you can choose what you like to see guys in the middle so from here you can see that you can see the navigation in the middle there also I will set a destination I will show you a little bit later then you have the second one the media then let me go up again you have here uh, the assistant systems assistant view then you have the journey data so if you press this on you can see right here and then you have the content content is the speed I guess and yeah I guess this is all so you can choose whatever you want to see in the front right there um, pretty interesting it's not bad and every time you change the driving mode it's changed also the the view right there um, I think it's even more complex but it's really hard to do that with only one hand. I will leave it on the map right now and let's go forward. This is the cockpit. Other than that, you can see there you have a lot of information about temperature, about how much gas you have, the range and the traffic speed limits and stuff like that. Now let's go in the middle here, guys. Going in the middle, first of all, for the first time, when inside a BMW you don't have that wheel and controller so you don't have any controller here to control the screen from so for some people it's a little bit disadvantage when you drive the car it was really helpful to have this controller here but now you have to use the touch screen and the touch screen is very very uh, responsive very good it has a very good processor behind it actually it's one of the best to be honest and the great part is that the, the media the climatic system will stay here and if you want to go to climatic menu you just press this button here and then you go immediately and and choose whatever settings you want for example the car come also with a heated steering wheel so you can see right here you can activate it plus and minus up there you have also high very high you have kind of a four position actually much more than before then the heating in the seats 
for you and the passenger there. Then you have here the van speed. From here you choose the van speed. And here you have the balance. You can choose wherever you want the air to go. So that's really, really helpful and cool. AC here, max. And then you have the synchronize button, auto, and here is the temperature. Very, very simple to adjust and to change different settings. Here uh, you have all climatic settings. And then you have automatic program and you have also auto air vents recirculation and then the settings you have even some settings preheat the car this is also super cool that you can preheat it before you leave your home for example this is a climatic system it will always stay down there you have also some shortcut buttons here for example you have media you press this media button kind of a button i i will say button i don't know how to call them you press you put your finger here on the media and it gets you directly to the media you have also spotify radio and news so how cool is that they are already integrated in the car then you have the telephone here where you have the contacts you go directly to the telephone and then you have also the navigation right here that gets you directly to the navigation the most important things that you usually use it all the time shortcuts are here the navigation a few words about it look at this i don't think i need to say something incredible smooth and nice you have all the information here charging station uh, gas stations a lot of information the parking uh, are also on the list start route guidance you can see how fast uh, it will follow the directional info on the display it's just, leaving, please turn left it's just super fast it's working really fast you just press it and boom it's directly there and also you can see it on the uh, cockpit right here in the front quite nice super nice now that we already know that if you want to uh, cancel it you just press that button up there then you can see the north here you can change the different views also here you can see the reduce expand um, the way you want to have it anyway this is the navigation very very good navigation and also if i'm not wrong this navigation shows you also uh, a camera the front camera the same as on mercedes where you should go left and right and stuff like that you will see also this in the test drive video so check out the test drive video here you have also all that settings uh, of the uh, navigation system where you can go in settings and set up different things that you want to change it there augmented view and stuff like that so it will show you also what i'm talking about i will show you later uh, in the video now here you have a home button this home button will stay always on the screen uh, not always but almost always so for example if you are in some menu you will see this home screen button that means when you press it only when you are in home screen it will be not there but other than that it will always be there and if you go to home screen you have again the navigation yes the telephone media and menu if you go to menu this is the home screen by the way on the home screen you have navigation you have radio you have telephone you can also customize those you can change it the way you want it you can put uh, whatever you want first or second and you can have all the settings and you can add also widgets here you can add for example the clock and whatever the time uh, automatic time settings wherever you want guys it will appear there it's it's very very cool and simple now let me go forward let me go to menu if you go to menu here you will be like whoa wow so many things but it's very simple once you learn it it's quite simple here you have all the apps guys that the car come with and it's it's relatively uh simple you can learn it really fast and here down here you have the vehicle app if you press the vehicle app it will show you really fast only the vehicle apps the important vehicle apps for example here you have the system settings where on the system settings you have all the important settings the language changing the date and time personal assistant uh, units the sound systems here you go to the sound system you can change different settings on the sound uh, you have also the pop-up the notification um, and oh, oh, a lot of settings really a lot of settings that then you have the live vehicle right here where you can see the acceleration and also all kind of uh, information about that the content adaptive content vehicle status here you can see also information about the car if it has some errors and stuff like that uh, you can see them right here you can see it already have that error uh, from the start and it's quite nice and adaptive content good you go reverse 
on the back is here your back button then let's go forward mobile device here on the mobile device guys you can connect your phone also you have the settings here uh, you can choose the Bluetooth name and also you can connect your phone very simple it's searching for device in this moment I have the phone around here let's see if we'll he will find it yes I think he find it already I also find it and I try to pair it right now yes he find it press on it connect it it asked me pair and right now it's pairing come on waiting for mobile device what you're acting use Bluetooth use Android Auto look at this and boom and right now probably will ask me again something yes continuing okay I setting up hello good and right now I have to turn on the yes the location perfect right now you press continuing here and then you have wireless Android Auto you don't even need to use your phone so the phone will stay there doesn't matter and then here you have uh, music wherever navigation also you have the media here on the right side it kind of use all the screen also you have all the apps that you have it in your phone like Spotify like Skype WhatsApp wherever super super awesome if you want to go back home you go back home and then yeah go to menu let's go forward guys this was the uh, phone settings the seats and comfort you go to seats and comfort here you have the driver seat seats massage the car come with massage really I didn't know that and you can turn it on are you serious come on oh yeah it's working wow I didn't expect I didn't know that this is come optional or is this in Ah, probably it's inside some package of Comfort Plus package. It's inside Comfort Plus package probably. Anyway, it's inside some kind of package here, but it's wow. I mean, it's really, really cool. Uh, seat one, seat two, seat belt and surface climatic system. We already know that. Let's go back. Seat belt reminder. Nice. Anyway, let's go forward. Live vehicle, you already see it. System setting, you see interior lightning. Here you have reading light, ambient light. Here you can turn it on and off. And also you can choose the colors on the ambient light. You have a few colors. Now it's a daytime, so I don't think we have too much ambient light here. I think it should be around here. I didn't see that. Anyway, not available to choose the colors. Currently not available. I'm not sure about that. Uh, probably doesn't have too much ambient light. Uh, and then cockpit brightness at night you can also adjust the brightness then we go the climatic controls you already see the displays here you have all the settings for the display head-up display and all that settings then you have the driver settings you already see it we have already a shortcut button down here exterior light you can play also a little bit with exterior light ah by the way this button here is the shortcut button for exterior light so when you press it it gets you directly to that uh, application, I should say. Quite smart. And then you have the parking here, where you have all that parking uh, settings. Let's go back. It's missing something. If you look inside here, inside the car, by the way, you have a camera up here. It has an interior camera that comes also optional. And you can see uh, what is inside the car. You can see uh, your child, if you have kids in the back there. But this option should be here, all apps. It should appear somewhere around here. Where is that? Where is that? Come on, show me. Exterior light, driving doors, display. Aha, uh -huh. drive recorder. This is it? No, 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 I don't think. This is also the front camera. Yes, this is the, f by the way, you have a camera up here that the car can record what happened, the same as on the Tesla. So you go here in this app, you start recording, you put an USB inside or recording in the vehicle, and then the car will record what happened in the front, and then you can even see the videos here. So it's a really smart system. Interior camera, here it is, guys, look at this. Interior camera, press it you have to log in with BMW in order to see it anyway after you log in you will see a nice camera here you can see inside the vehicle 
uh, what happened so it's it's quite a useful uh, thing then you have message here you have so many apps doors and light display digital key you can add also some digital key on your phone so you can unlock the car with your phone if i'm not wrong um, so many settings so so many settings uh, you need a lot of time to play with it and even the weather you have here so we will show you the weather and how are uh, the temperature right now outside the navigation the spotify that comes standard with the car uh, apple carplay and on even the news you can read the news guys i mean the car is connected to the internet you can see up there and it will show you even the news and what happened today it's um it's really interesting you can see right here it's talk about ukraine and those kind of stuff really interesting radio and then uh, android auto you already see it from up here you can open also some shortcuts uh, and also you can activate the not disturb notification hide private information and android auto you already see it it's connected right now uh, and it's also very responsive and very nice and here you have uh, the media on the right side from the um, from your phone really awesome car uh, by the way up here you have microphone you have that camera you have some light if i'm not wrong a touch light you can see led lights the mirror it's beautiful also very nice uh, visibility in the back there are huge huge windows in the back so you have a great visibility in the mirror here up here also you have an led light super fancy and a mirror everything handle microphone again everything inside the car let me stop the engine right now guys i have to to tell you everything inside the car is just incredible high quality premium i mean every everywhere i put my hand and wherever i look i feel like i'm in a car that cost around 100,000 uh, euro or dollar and it feels incredible good quality i didn't expect bmw had so much quality in an active tour i mean the design is beautiful i know bmw make beautiful cars it's much more beautiful than the previous version if you look there look at them and if you look at this one it's, it's just wow i mean the way it looks it, it's much more attractive than before i mean now i feel attracted of this car and if i need space if i need a lot of practicality in the back and a lot of space I would totally think about this car as one of my next cars it's a great car with a lot of features and if i make in the last days a few other family cars from other car manufacturers this time bmw step up the game guys i mean i know it's more expensive but wow i mean this is a premium family car you know what i mean okay my rating for this new bmw 2 series active tour from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. it's really good i love the car anyway that was the video if you want to see the car if you want to check out the car check out auto care in switzerland i will leave the link in the description guys i hope the video was helpful if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask thank you very much for watching my video i really appreciate that stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys